have a lot of areas I struggle in. I'm a combat wounded veteran. I was in the hospital for quite a while and it, it was a long road of recovery at the beginning. Balance issues and, and having to use a walker and obviously several surgeries for repairs. But as soon as they were pretty much done, it was still just not a very good quality of life. It was still just uh, a lot of pain. Took some shrapnel to my uh, head, neck, and back. Had a um, traumatic brain injury, a um, uh, couple of small uh, fractures in my neck, my C2, 3, and 4. Um, a lot of nerve damage, and then everything that goes with PTSD. Probably the top three would be the pain, the headaches, and the insomnia. The first treatment was um, incredible. I came into doctor's, Dr. Howe's office, was kind of concerned about what needles can do for so many things that are going on with me, uh, but I was hopeful. The first treatment, Right away as he was putting uh, the needles, I just felt a very uh, calm feeling just all over my body. Like uh, my whole body just sort of melted. Real strange thing is I had surgery on my right ear, some difficulty hearing um, since then. Just in a split second, everybody was crystal clear. And I was not expecting that, but it was an incredible treatment. Since the first treatment, uh, I had my best night's sleep. I did not wake up one time between then, which isn't, which hasn't happened in about 14 years. I mean, that was incredible. I deal with chronic pain. I had no pain. Would not have been able to do that before these treatments. Oh, I've noticed um, lots of things. I mean, his attitude is better. You know, his sleep can affect my sleep. And I, that he slept for eight and a half hours straight, so did I. I mean, I don't think I woke up. So far, we are extremely pleased. There are probably some of you out there that are skeptics, that are like, yeah, you know, that there's no way that could, that could help with all these things. And I was one of those. And you have to try it. You know, you have to at least try <laughs> yeah. it. And you will be, you'll be happy. Um, Josh and um, Brandy Breedlove brought their daughter here that um, she had a leg condition that she was going to end up probably in a wheelchair with and they brought her up here and they healed her and now she's a gymnast. And so when we started struggling three years ago, um, they told us along the time that about Dr. Howe and just how they helped their daughter and we said, why not? <laughs> what do we have to lose? The worst thing that could happen is I'd still feel the same way I felt. That was the worst case scenario. So in my mind, I was like, well, I already feel horrible and I can't do anything. Even if this doesn't work, I'm not gonna get any worse. Yeah. But what is the upside? The upside is I could get my life back. Boy, the short order of it is, is that I began to have symptoms where blurred vision, doubled vision, migraines that just were debilitating. Like you can't see anything, you can't do anything. You're just incapacitated. Um, my balance began to get so bad that I couldn't walk real well, so I had a cane. It got to the point where I didn't feel like I could safely walk, drive, uh, fatigue, couldn't see. It just, uh, I got to the point where I couldn't function um, as, a, as a pastor, as a husband, as a dad. There's, there's no surgery to fix this. There's no medication to fix this. And um, your only option is you can try physical therapy. Um, if 95% chance it won't work. Most people just go on disability and that's it, non-existent. Mm -hmm. And so at the age of 41, that just didn't seem like an option to me. It was pretty amazing in the first treatment. It was like, who is this guy? I, I just got my husband back. Mm -hmm. By the end of the 80%. first treatment, I would say it was 80%, it's crazy. It was nuts. By the end of the first treatment, he said, all right, stand there and close your eyes. Stand up and close your eyes. Yeah, he, and, I, and I wish that would have been on tape because I looked at him. I mean, I was polite, but I said, you don't want to. Because I mean, I was to the point where I couldn't do any of my balance therapy where my eyes were closed. I, I couldn't do any of it because it was just immediately, I'm mm -hmm. down. So I was like, okay. And he said, no, no, I, ha I got you. I got you, it's okay. I I'm right here. Boom, I stood there and nothing. 
I mean, there was a little bit of wavering. Tiny bit. And by the second <laughs> treatment on Tuesday, that mm -hmm. was Monday, by the second treatment on Tuesday, I'm just... Straight as a board. I mean, no eyes closed. Yeah. He, yeah, and by the fourth treatment, he was lifting a leg with his eyes closed. Mm -hmm. If he would, uh, no way yeah. could he have done that. I've been able to do things, I mean, the last two weeks, I haven't been able to do in five years. Yeah. I mean, I'm driving everywhere. I'm doing everything. I don't know what to say other than uh, we're, this is the greatest blessing that's ever happened in our life, period.